all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as today all in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop you will be the first one collect them let's go down to the news proper as it is hot for the obodo as it be <laughs> no matter what we say there for my table rough for rough for uh, because my joy now is that the people of Afenifere, uh, the Oduduas, uh, have finally turned uh, to the Biafrans and they have said that this uh, call for freedom uh, that you people has been on for a long time now, they said now it is time for us to join you people back on the call for freedom. I see they be. <laughs> The Afeniferes have finally joined uh, the people of the indigenous people of Biafra in order to be able to actualize their freedom because they don't see say uh, waiting to go on for the country where we say they call Nigeria, uh, you know, they to favor everybody. <laughs> you know that when Mazen and the kind of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ahmadika one of Ndibo, uh, was presenting some of these facts to the people and they refused to believe or even accept the fact and the truth of what is actually happening in the nation but as it is now uh, they have turned sideways and they have said as it is now uh, they want freedom that what they want is not even a restructuring <laughs> Meanwhile, people like Mazi, Simon, Epa, Ohamadike, too, or Fundibo, Anana, Bwebwe, Onatani, one, or Fundibo, the Sisu master has gone far. As it is now, uh, the people of the indigenous people of Biafra, under the Biafra Republic government, uh, go, uh, Biafra Republic government in exile, have already established a lot of liaison offices all over the world, go to the U.S., go to the Lithuania, uh, go to London, go to South America, go to some of these countries and some other African countries. Even in South Africa, uh, there was a time uh, Honorable Maliama, who is one of the Honorable Members in the House of Parliament in South Africa, uh, spoke a lot about Ndibo and the Biafrans. And according to him, he said that people like them draw strength for what people like Ndibo started. Uh, also... Uh, another person also spoke about Ndibo, people like um, uh, Professor Lulumba, uh, who said that um, uh, it is not Igbos that came out of Israel, uh, but rather Israelis came out of Ndibo. And when you look at that truth, uh, you will see some uh, small, small Olomonians inside. Uh, people don't know that Igbos have been uh, one of the ancient people who have uh, reign or Africans, the time of the Ethiopians and the rest of them, uh, but some histories could not be traced because they were not written down or stipulated on the pages of the book. Meanwhile, make a carry you go for the full detail of the information where we say they happen for that affair. People where we say they don't turn, they say now, waiting they want now freedom, or say they want self determination and not restructuring. Akin to you to affair, Yoruba nation wants self determination, not restructuring. Akin Toyo to Afenifere, he said, Yoruba nation wants self-determination, not restructuring. Leader of the Elana Omo Odoa, Professor Banji Akin Toye, has disagreed with leaders of the pan Yoruba social political organization, Afenifere, on restructuring, saying the Yoruba nation wants self-determination, not restructuring. He said this when he was featured on Arise Television's The Morning Show. The professor of history who reportedly said the goal to achieve his Yoruba nation dreams will surely come to pass argued that if restructuring is implemented, the same Fulani headers who have allegedly killed more than 29,000 Yorubas will remain in Nigeria and continue their atrocities. He wondered why there was so much noise about agitation for Yoruba nation and people look away from Fulani who threatened to take over the city the seat of power why acknowledging the role of afenifera in restructuring he noted that the only solution to the senseless killing maiming taking on women and kidnapping of yorubas was to get out of the country his words our fatherland our fathers our fathers in afenifera are doing the right thing talking about restructuring so that we can go back and live our own life the way we used to live is prospered prosperously 
But we, another group of people, larger than they are, now saying self-determination is the answer, not restructuring. Why? Because when you restructure, you are still in Nigeria, and those people who are killing, maiming, and taking on women and children still remains in Nigeria. The only solution to that is to separate from them, to have our own country where we can make laws and determine who to admit. But if we restructure, they still have the right to come to Nigeria and still perpetrate the evils they do. Taking exception to the violence displayed by Otiniri Abiola's group who swooped on the Oyo State Government House, he said the ideas of the self-determination movement and Yoruba agitation led by Bodupe Otiniri Abiola are not the same. We started the movement for the liberation of the Yoruba nation under the existing law of the international community. People don't seem to recognize the rights of indigenous people that there is a law that every nation that permits a nation that wants to separate from a nation they belong to now to do so. The movement that I led is intellectually sophisticated. No single member of the movement, even though we are in millions, we do what Mrs. Abiola Otinuri did. She and her people are on their own. They are not part of us and we are not part of them. Our struggle of self-determination has been pursued peacefully. We started in 2019 and this 2024. That is roughly five years now and no single record of violence have been recorded. We will achieve self-determination peacefully. Uh, this one is coming from Akintoye. Uh, when I don't see ICDB for this matter, so we say a concern... Uh, uh, this freedom fighting and the rest of them. Uh, one thing I have noted uh, when it comes to this matter is the division that is the order of the day uh, when it comes to the the fight for freedom. Hmm? For the matter of the fight, we will say a concern freedom as it be. You know, Shale, uh, meanwhile, as it be for the Obodo right now. Uh, the Yoruba people has uh, actually supported uh, uh, the move of freedom. Meanwhile, uh, before now, it was like a big story for them. Uh, when you are telling the stories, uh, it will be as if uh, they don't understand uh, what you they talk. Uh, but uh, look at how Onitiri, uh, Abiola and the Akentoye has divided the group. And the issue now is... Um, what is Onitri saying and what is um, the other people saying because <laughs> uh, the road the road to this particular freedom where we say these people they fight for a don't ruffle <laughs> I see they be for Alhambra State you don't show it for that side they say uh, they don't catch 11 courtist members arrested for invading Anambra Hotel with champs and dangerous weapons they say 12 members of the group are currently on the run as the police operative are still trailing them behind. Operatives from Zone 13, Zona Police Headquarters, OWO, have reportedly apprehended 11 members of a suspected court group accused of terrorizing the Ihembos community in Ekusigoluku government area of Anambra State. The arrests were made following an alleged invasion of the premises of Las Vegas Hotel Limited at Obaho Village in the area. Twelve members of the group are currently on the run as the police operative are still trailing them behind. Their arrest on Monday morning, according to the source, followed a strongly worded petition to the Assistant Inspector General of Police, AIG, in charge of Zone 13 Zonal Police Command, Godwin Ahalo. The proprietor of Las Vegas Hotel Limited, Ian Bossi Chief Omenife Emeka Onwato, had through his legal counsel, PJN as we petitioned the AIG seeking his intervention to cop the menace of the cultist group who he said went to the extreme of invading his hotel on March 10th this year with about 12 motorcycles, charms, cudgels, cutlasses, axes and other dangerous weapons and terrorized the owners, management and staff of the hotel threatening to kill anyone outside. Uh, when I don't see how it happen, uh, if you go for that place where we say that they call Anabra State, I hear saying Akata Kata would do for that area because of um uh, the issue of these small small boys. Uh, where we say they say that they do cut for that particular area. 
uh, because uh, these boys no one can rest. Uh, they say make you rest, make you rest. You say you no go rest, 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 rest. You say you no go rest. <laughs> uh, when the chiefs are down, uh, oh yeah, you can't get it. You can Meanwhile, this is where I'll be widely that the cotton. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for listening. God bless you.